Something on there. 100,000 nails, of course. Oh my gosh, man. Anything else? <gasps> oh my gosh, I just pulled something out of the mud. Here we go. Oh, <gasps> look at what it is. Here we go. Some more weight on there. No, <laughs> dude. Yes. 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 Oh, holy tiny little Frankie. I don't think we've ever found one that tiny. Look at him. He's just a little baby. Go on. Get him. We got the big one. What is going on today, guys? Today we are back out here once again to do some more magnet fishing. As you can tell, I already got the boat in the river. In one of our recent videos, just up river, we actually hit a spot right along an old concrete wall. As always, there is just no telling what you're gonna find, guys. So we're gonna get right down to it. I'm gonna hop in the boat. We're gonna buzz up river. And we're gonna see if we can find anything here today. If you guys would like to pick up some merch or you wanna pick up a magnet, the links will be down in the description, guys. All right, guys, today we are back out here. I have my large 360 degree magnet with me. And this section right here of this old concrete wall is where we left off last time. And then we hit this empty section. I'm not sure if that's a vacant lot now that used to have a house in it, but you guys, right along this wall here, holy cow, there's like a hole that is absolutely absolutely filled with stuff. So today we're back out here. That is exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go right to this spot. We're gonna start tossing and I bet you we start finding stuff almost immediately. This spot is so crazy and we're probably gonna find stuff so fast that I might not even have to really edit this video. I might just find stuff throw after throw here, like immediately, cause that's what was happening last time. Here we go, I already got something. At least I think I do. First throw. Yep, you guys. Literally, first throw. I'm not kidding you, man. There is some stuff in here. Looks like we got the big old scrap pipe. Nothing too fancy on that one. A little bit of cash money. Then I see a little bitty spring on there. Who knows what the heck that thing came off of. But look at this thing, you guys. I almost thought that was an antenna off of a car or something. This is definitely a metal brace or bracket here. And then look at the tip of this thing. It almost looks like wood that snapped off or something. What the heck do you think that one is? Some kind of flag and like maybe the flag snapped off? I have no clue. That is a funky one. Now another thing about this spot too is all the nails we were finding. Like ho oh, holy cow, it was every single throw just about was about a thousand nails. It was like this guy just dumped buckets of nails in the river, I don't know. But if you can see what I'm talking about, you see there's houses all the way along here. Now, if I step up on the boat here, you can kind of see it almost looks like there might've been a house in this lot, unless one of these people owns it, but it almost doesn't look like it. I really don't know, it's hard to tell. All I know is that there, this is like a honey hole, you guys. That is all I know. Something right here. Something right here. And I did it again, man. I forgot to bring the claw. That was, I specifically tried to remind myself to bring the claw this time because there's a lot of stuff in here. Like last time I caught a box fan. That's not even magnetic. I just pinched it. Ooh, I see some white. Oh, look it, you guys. <laughs> Check it out. We got us the old metal coat hanger. Now we need some shirts. We could start us a wardrobe. But what the heck is this white thing? Oh, look at that, you guys. A wheel. That's definitely off a toy car for sure. And then, I don't know what this is. A little bit of scrap a -roo. What the heck is this white thing, though? Kind of looks like maybe some kind of funky hinge. Huh, we call this a white hinge. I'm pulling on something here. Here we go. I seriously think there is just a massive pile of stuff down here. That's the only explanation. What is this? Come here. I got something. I just plucked something up out of the mud, you guys. Oh, oh, what is that? Oh, 
oh no, wait a minute. <laughs> you guys, I didn't know what was going on there. At first I thought that was like a, a black painted uh, hubcap off a uh, car or something, but you can definitely tell that sucker is off of a bike. Ah, I wonder if the bike is still down there. Oh, and look at that. We got a tag up in there. What does that say? Bowman's 100% cotton. There's gotta be a bike in there. You guys, I almost wasn't even gonna show you this because I was literally standing here for about 10 minutes pulling off all of these nails from one throw. Like, come on, man. It's just blocking all the stuff that I could be picking up. Here's something. Stay on there. Oh no. Oh no, it's still on. Oh, you see them bubbles? Heck yeah, we got something here. Oh, it's getting heavier. Oh, here it comes. Yep. Oh. Dude. Nah, -uh, you guys, really. If you've seen our last video here, I swear to you, we caught the other set of legs. This is definitely off of a folding table. I know it is. So I assume the top is probably still down there, but if it's plastic like I think, we're not gonna find it. Unreal. I'm hitting something here that's pulling. I'm pulling us right to it. What the heck is this? I think I came off. Or no, no, we still have something. Here we go, guys. Oh, I see something. What is that? Dude, it's a whole doorknob. Oh my gosh, it's both sides. No way. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. Hello, anybody home? That's a pretty funky find, you guys. I found doorknobs before, but never both ends. Plus, we got all our nails. We're one step closer to building ourselves our own house. And again, you guys, see what I'm saying? Every single throw with these nails, and it's just absolutely cluttered. Now it's gonna take me five minutes to pull all these suckers off of here. Ooh, I stuck something good right there. Right next to the wall. Oh. Uh oh, uh oh, we are gonna smack. Hold well, on, we're good. Here we go. It's coming up. Yup. Oh, I'm slipping. Ow, 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 I'm slipping. Oh, look what's on top of there, you guys. First of all, oh my gosh, with the nails. What is going on here? But look it, we caught the old butter knife. Who's got the bread? Oh, wait a minute. There's something else in here. What is that? It's like a chain hanging off of there. What do you think that is? That almost looks like the, the door clicker thing that slides into the door. I'm pretty sure I found one of these here last time, but it definitely was not as old looking as this thing. You know what I'm talking about? Or like a door bolt lock or something? I don't even know. Well, well I might as well sit down here. I'm gonna be here for a while. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, I didn't even see that under there either. Look at you guys, the old cash money railroad spike. You guys, look at our nail pile. This is silly. It's only off a couple throws. I bet you if I sat here for a couple hours, I could fill up this entire cart with nothing but nails. Ooh, something here. Oh, that doesn't really want to move. What is that? Oh, come here. Did I just pull it up out of the mud? I did. Man, I love that feeling. What do we got here? Ooh, whoa. 
the heck do we got here, you guys? Oh, I was gonna say, I thought I saw a bag or something. It is just a, just a little bit of plastic. I don't think that's a bag, but look at what just fell off of here, you guys. That is for sure a bike seat. And this is like one of them leather ones. I'm surprised it doesn't have like the, the buttons on the side that we usually see. No doubt this sucker is old and I wonder, I almost don't think that it came off of this bike being that it has like a fancy plastic cover. That doesn't seem to fit the time frame of this old leather bike seat. Holy cow, you guys, some more bike evidence. Oh my gosh, you guys. I didn't even see that on there at first. We just had this little ugly green pipe. I don't know what the heck that came off of. A little bit of scrap. No way, now we got us a fork to go with the knife. Now we can cut up our eggs. The old river eggs. I think we grabbed something here. I kept feeling it. Every time I throw it in there, I feel it, but I can't grab it. And here it comes. Whatever this is, something on there. 100,000 nails, of course. Oh my gosh, man, anything else? Oh, <gasps> no, no way, you guys. Look at what that is. That is a straight up horse. You guys, I've literally found one other horse before. Oh, look at this one, he's got like gold, or brass uh, ankle things under there. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. What a find, man. You guys, we are absolutely gonna restore this horse over on my restoration channel, The Fisher Restorations. And of course, I got another 10 minutes of nails to pull off here, man. Come on. My theory is if I keep throwing here enough, I should get to the point where I don't pull out many nails anymore. Ooh, I landed on something here, which means we probably avoided all the nails and just stuck right onto it. Now, if I can get it up here, it feels like it's slipping. No, it did slip. What the heck was that? Huh. Look at you guys. Wait a minute, what is that? At first I thought it was like the old gardening shovel, the old trowel. That's definitely not what that is. Is that like an old concrete, what you call it? I don't know you guys, some kind of old school funky looking spatula. Pretty cool man, some kind of tool here. Oh, what is that? What the heck is that? Oh, that's definitely some kind of oil filter. Look at that one, you guys. Definitely off of something small. What the heck do you think that came off? I mean, look at that. It fits right in my hand. And that one actually does not smell like oil. So I'm sure that thing's been down there forever. Huh. Ooh, I think I grabbed something. That actually works pretty slick. Don't throw it as far. And I still pick up a bunch of nails. <gasps> oh, what is this though? What is this, you guys? Some kind of box here. You can see cords hanging off of it, so it's definitely electrical. Heck yeah, look at that. It's so mudded up there, it's kind of hard to tell, but I really don't see any buttons. Looks like the whole front here is smashed. Huh, that one is a mystery. And of course, we win 101 nails again. Ooh, look at this. What the heck? That almost looks like an like a old school, super teeny tiny paint roller. What the heck? 
You guys, look at our pile of nails, man. This is just ridiculous. That's like half a cart full of nothing but nails. Not quite half, but we're getting there. This is ridiculous. Here we go. Here we go, man. That's a nice heavy find. That's not gonna be just nails. What do we got here? Oh, dude, no flipping way. You have, no, you literally have to be kidding. Oh, and look at that, oh my gosh. Oh, we're gonna crash. You guys, first of all, look at, we caught us like a little trident here. And I believe this little tiny trident, cause it's not a full size pitchfork. I think I found one of these like maybe a year ago, I wanna say. And I'm pretty sure you guys down in the comments said that this is like an old frogging gig. The old frog catcher. But you guys, I cannot believe we just found this. And look at this one, you guys. This one's got the double pointy end here. And look at the handle is busted right off. You can still see part of the handle sticking out the top but that sucker snapped right off. I'm not 100% sure on the history in this area, but something like this, I would guess maybe they, they did logging with it because I don't think there was any like real mining going on back in the day here. You guys, that is beyond cool, but it's too bad that the handle is snapped off. No way. Oh my gosh, I just pulled something out of the mud. Here we go. Oh, look at what it is. Yup. Is that a bike? No, that don't look like a bike. Hold on a second. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a big old scooter, you guys. Yup, check it out. It's a big old one of them fat tire scooters. Holy cow, look at that sucker. What is that, like an autograph on there? Unreal, you guys. Look at the front tire is missing and there's no handlebars on that sucker. I just can't believe how much stuff just keeps coming out of here, man. How long you think that one was down there? Look at that. Well, I definitely don't think you're riding that one very far. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's something there. I see a little bit of oil. Yep, I did. I seen a little bit of rainbow. There's something here I'm feeling. Oh, tug on it. No, no, no. I think we just popped off. Huh. I have to try that one again. There's something down there. Here we go. Right there. I can't get it out of the mud though. There's probably too many nails blocking. Come on. Something down there, you guys. I just gotta get that sucker to wiggle out of the mud. I might have to clear my magnet. Hold on. I'm determined. I wanna get this. I can feel it. See my watch my magnet. Clicks right to it. Yeah. I just can't get it to come up. No, 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 no. It's starting to come. I'm not kidding you. Is that it? Here it comes. You're kidding. Oh, no way. Look it. We caught us the old bike handlebars. Oh my gosh. And look at what was in my hand that I didn't even notice. We caught us a second, uh, what do you call it? A shirt hanger. Now we can hang us up two shirts. But you guys look at this handlebars here. Holy rusty. It looks like we probably plucked it right off of the bike. Unreal you guys. What kind of bike you think that one came off of? Oh, unless, do you think these are the handlebars for the scooter here? I don't know, I guess it could be, but these almost seem like they would be bike handlebars. <laughs> what is that? Underneath all the nails and stuff here. Look at that thing, you guys. Looks like some kind of knob on there maybe for like an old radio i doubt it the more i'm looking at that i don't even know what to think of that thing you guys what the heck do you think of that one something with the old knob on there it looks like we cost the old mystery piece
Oh, look at all those bubbles. You see them? Oh, and some more oil. Dude, oil's coming up with the bubbles. What do we got here? I got something. Oh, it's coming up. It's heavy. What do we got? Whoa. Oh, I think we got a couple things. Oh, come here. Stay on. Dude, whoa. Definitely a couple things here, but first of all, no way. Look at what's on the top here, you guys. We cost a little teeny tiny cast iron frying pan. That thing is super tiny. It's the perfect egg pan. Oh, look at that. We got a little green guy, Mr. Bug, living on there. What you doing, Mr. Bug? Chilling. And as nasty as this sounds, I guarantee you we could get this thing cleaned up and cooking again. Again, you guys, if you would like to see me clean stuff like this up, make sure to go check out my restoration channel the fisher restorations i've only been poking around on restorations here and there a little bit but i'm still in the process of buying a new house so once i move and get all set up you guys we are going to be doing tons of restorations and you guys look at this we got us the old bike rim and i can only wonder if it's part of these bike handles or part of this bike seat who knows you guys who knows how many bikes are down there <laughs> And then we have this thing, you guys. And this is actually really weird. If you've seen my last video here, we caught what I think was the other half of this thing. If it wasn't so crumpled up and smushed here, it would kind of look like a wagon. And it's kind of red, so I thought that it was maybe one of them red flyer wagons or whatever you call those things. But this piece here, when you flip it over, I don't know what's going on there. Is that like a gas cap, dude? It almost looks like it, like you could unscrew that or something. Maybe this is some kind of gas tank? I wouldn't think so but i don't know weird i can't believe how much stuff is coming out of this one little section here you guys it's unbelievable oh i see some bubbles oh and there's some oil see that oil coming up do you see that yes i'm telling you there's got to be something right here I just got to get it. Oh, I thought we just had a bunch of scrap. But you guys, look at the size of that file. Holy smokes, man. Now that's a big boy. That is pretty cool, you guys. If I'm correct, I believe this is now the second file that I found along this wall back here. See, there goes that oil again. I don't know, dude, I'm telling you. I think something's down here. I just can't quite figure out what it is and where it is. Oh, what the? I thought I seen a little person. Look at that, dude. Oh, you know, dude, I know exactly what this is. I guarantee you this is the old foosball table stick. You know what I'm talking about? Where you get the little handle and you gotta hoo, hoo, hoo. Yep, you can see one guy here. You can see two more here, but these guys are missing their head and feet. Unreal, man. Now that makes you wonder, is it just one foosball table stick down there or is like the whole table down there? Oh. Trying out a little farther, not so close to the wall. A little more, a little more throwing distance. Oh boy, there's something there. Oh, that's what the. No, is that on still or what? Here we go. Something coming, but dude, I don't think it's on there very good. Real slow. What the heck is going on there? thought that was gonna fall off maybe something did fall off oh look at what's on there you guys i thought we just had a chunk of scrap but look at we got us an old tire iron heck yeah dude that one's super old look at all the gunk packed in there look at all the rust on this thing and then i'm pretty sure this one here was just a piece of scrap yeah er, er, er. oh oh wow whoa whoa stepping on the rope sheesh even as bad of a throw as that is watch i bet y'all still find something 
How much you want to bet? Here we go. Uh, oh, oh, that's coming out of the mud. Come on. Come on. I know you want to. Ain't it? Yes. No way, you guys. You can tell what that is right away, man. That is definitely a rake head. But where's the handle? What the heck? It almost doesn't even look like there was a place where the handle might have snapped off. Oh, she's nice and fertilized down in there. Here we go. Plant your seeds. Super cool, though, you guys. We caught us the old rake head. Here we go. Ain't it? Yes. Yes, here we go. Some weight on there. No! You guys, look at you can see the handle on there already. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, look at that size of the spoon. First of all, look at this. I'm seriously the head of this spoon is like as big as the palm of my hand. You can eat a whole bowl of cereal in one scoop. Then there was this thing here. This is definitely the brake part off of a bike. But you guys, look at unbelievable. You can see the handle on there. This is an old school saw. Oh, look at that. What does that say? There's like some kind of design or some kind of writing on that brass buckle there. I found one of these here last time with the exact same looking handle, but I don't think that one had this cool little brass looking piece with the stamp on there. How old do you think this thing is? Look at there's holes in that sucker. My goodness. I don't think you're cutting much with that one anymore, but you can still see the teeth on there. Unreal, man. There I go again, stepping on the rope. Oh, way out here, ha ha ha, see? Way out here we're sticking stuff still. Right there, something heavy. Where'd that go? Here we go. What is that? Oh, wait a minute. What the heck is that? At first it looks like the antenna off of like a car or something, but why has it got this little swivelly piece on there? I don't think I've ever seen an antenna with that thing on there. What the heck else would that be? You can see it's got the extenders on there. Oh, look at that, it still closes. We cost the old extendo, what the heck oh. Oh, look at that, you guys. I didn't even see that one hidden on there. We got us the old spark plug, too. Way too rusted up. I can't see the name on there, but she's got, like, some green stripes. Psst, psst. There is something down there, man. Like something with some actual weight. Oh, no, here it comes. <laughs> As I say that, it's actually coming up, dude. Whatever the something with the actual weight is, here it comes. Oh, buddy, what is going on here? Hold on. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's heavy. Why is that so heavy? Oh, look at what it is. Whoa, whoa. You guys, that's a big old handle. What is that, Fiskers? What the heck does that say? Look at there's like a barcode on the back kind of. Oh, it's a shovel. And you guys, look at this. I think this might be the handle. Yeah, that's a wooden handle for sure to maybe another shovel or something. Got a little string tied on there. That's kind of weird. But you guys, check this one out. It's got a little bend here. I don't know if it's supposed to. It's probably not supposed to be like that. Maybe that's why it ended up in the river, but look at that. That is a heavy duty shovel. It's got like foot grippies on the part that you stand on. This thing is big and heavy duty, man. Unreal, man. Super cool, you guys. That's crazy. You guys, holy cow, I cannot believe the amount of stuff coming out of here, and it's all super cool stuff. Just between this little tree and this fence over here, I'm telling you, it's like, what the heck? It's nonstop. Sometimes it takes a couple throws, and you got to weed through the nails, but... I just, again, we got another full cart here already, just about, you guys. 
and I'm still sticking stuff, dude. Not even kidding you. Here we go. Ooh, look at that wheel, you guys. What do you think that one came off of? Look at this one. It doesn't have one set of spokes. It's got like a set of spokes for this side and then a separate set for that side. Oh, look at that. There's a little clam stuck in there. Come on, clam buddy. You're stuck in there, guy. I'm pretty sure these things are alive, although he was stuck in there pretty good, but we're gonna send him back. Now that is an old one, you guys. Oh, we almost lost our, our magical dangly wand. Oh, oh, we just stuck to something nice right there, you guys. Oh, what do we got here? Hold on. Oh, that's coming up. Oh my gosh, another something. Oh no, it's slipping. No. Here it comes, it's coming up, dude. Nice and easy. No, really? Holy shovel town. You guys, and look at this one. What the heck, man? Why did this even end up in the river? The whole handle's still attached. The shovel's not bent up. The head is still intact. This is still a good shovel yet. You gotta be kidding me, look at that. I can literally, actually, I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take all this mud out of the bottom of my, my boat. Heck yeah, you guys, what a find. Like, what is going on down there? Am I on something again? I am. Oh, 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 oh that's decent. That's really nice, you guys. Man, I just, it's every throw. Oh, couple things going on here, you guys. First of all, what is this big old bowl looking thing hanging off of there? Check that out. Look at that one, you guys. Looks like we caught us a bowl. And judging by the looks of that thing, that has got to be absolutely ancient. That sucker is old as can be, man. You ain't cooking no soup in that one no more. Look at that. Holy cow. And there's a little white something sticking off the side. What is that deal there? Oh, look at that. Is that some kind of knob or something? Yeah, I don't know what to think of that. I almost thought maybe like some kind of cassette player where you put a cassette in there. Turn the volume up. There's like something big down here. I keep hitting on it, but it, I don't know. I keep pulling up other stuff. So unless there's just a massive pile down here. Oh, yo, this is like the heaviest thing so far today. Oh, it's like already coming up. Whoa, what the, what is going on here? Oh my gosh. Yo, you're kidding. You guys, look. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? First of all, look at what I can see. This is like pinched on there. It's not even stuck to the magnet, you guys. We caught another handsaw. Oh my gosh, man. This one's got a way different handle and almost the whole saw is still intact. Definitely ain't cutting nothing with that thing though. Super flimsy. Unreal. Then we had some white thing here. I don't know if this is some kind of curtain rod or something. That's kind of what it looks like. Nothing too fancy. A little bit of scrap. And then we had this big one here, you guys. I'm pretty sure, looking at this thing, it kind of looks like part to like maybe a bed frame or something. This has got to be one of the bed railings where you kind of like, this is where the boards would go across and you'd lay your mattress on there. Some kind of big old metal brace piece. Again, man, something heavy. It's like I keep going over a pile down there. Come on. No, whatever that is, it keeps coming off. That's what keeps happening. Whatever it is, it keeps slipping off. And I just keep pulling parts up. I don't know if they're coming off of that or what, you guys, but look at another some kind of electrical piece. What do you think that one came off of? 
Holy cow, man. We are seriously finding some weird stuff. Oh, look at that. What the heck is that? Looks like, again, some kind of another antenna type piece, but this one's got like duct tape on there. He tried to duct tape it to the car so it wouldn't fly away. That didn't work, huh? One of these times we are gonna figure out what that is that we're sticking to. It's something heavy and I just can't get it. I think we, we keep clicking to other stuff and it's blocking us from actually pulling that up. That's what's going on here. We gotta get a nice clean stick. Oh, whoa! Hey, look at that! A little tiny screwdriver. Wow, that's like super fresh looking, dude. Mastercraft, Taiwan. These are pretty handy to have. This is like a keeper on the boat screwdriver. Heck yeah, dude, nice! Here we go. Here we go. No? Did that just come off again? Huh. You're kidding. <laughs> you guys, a second fork. Now we got us two forks and a butter knife. Or wait, no, and we got a spoon. Holy smokes, we got the whole silverware set. We're eating good. Well, my, man, my mom's old property the first time. That's why I was wondering if there used to be a house here. It kind of looks like it. Yeah. Fishing pole. My dad, my sister, she lives in Pennsylvania, and that's I'm calling her right now. And cool. I'm just walking over the property. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have a good day, Bob. Thank you. You too. Thanks. I don't know if you guys could hear that guy very clearly, but uh, apparently he said that this used to be. A house in this lot up here and he said his his mother used to own it or something that's kind of funky i thought that was an empty lot here that makes sense here we go some more weight on there no <laughs> dude look at what it is you guys a whole entire hoe and it's still got the handle on there but my goodness man look at this thing it's about ready to snap you guys that is a way too cool seems like a lot of tools in here like shovels and rakes and hoes unreal man and again like what do you think the age on something like this is you're talking like before i was even born dude that is so super cool you guys what an awesome find we got the rake now we got the hoe too bad we don't got no more dirt anymore we can't even plant us no corn and i thought there was a little something else on there yes look at you guys we cost a little baby tiny wheel what do you think that thing came off of it's got the little lock on there we cost the old tiny wheel evidence Whoa, look at that boing boinger. Now that's a big old spring. What do you guys think that one came off of? Look at, we just busted all the rust off of there. That was kind of satisfying. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, ooh, ooh. Almost sent myself to the bottom of the river. Whatever this thing is down there that I keep hitting, it's like it just doesn't, I can't hit it good enough. I'm not hitting it good enough to where it wants to stick and come up. I got something here, though. Another something pulling. Hey, look at what we caught us. The old grill grate. You guys, we got us the whole silverware set. Now we caught us the grill grate. Now we could cook us up some burgers and eat them.
something here. Come on. Stay on. Yes. It's coming. Whoa. Dude, no flipping way. You guys. What? Another shovel. This one's the old flathead. And again, it's not even really chipped up, dude. There's like nothing wrong with this, it doesn't seem like. You guys, unbelievable. One, two, three, what is this? Like the fourth shovel here? Oh my goodness. And then I thought I saw something white on there. Yeah. What is that deal? Yo, harmonica? I don't think so. I see a wire coming off there. Look at that. What do you think that one is, you guys? I don't think I ever seen nothing like that before. That sure is a funky looking piece. Super weird. Something electrical for sure. Something here. Something with some weight. Whoa, dude. Oh, we upgraded now. Look at that grill grate. Oh my goodness. It's like twice the size of the other one we caught. Maybe even three times the size. Look at that. Oh, now we're cooking for real. What do you think? The whole grill's still down there? My goodness. Oh my gosh. I didn't even notice that on there. Yo. <laughs> What? You guys, look at, we caught us a little fishing spoon, a little fishing lure, the old red guy with the white stripe. But look at how many sinkers are on here. Whoa, uh, what? That's like a sinker snake. I've never seen anything like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 sinkers on one line. What are you thinking? I just can't believe how much stuff is down here. I got something again. Like, how does this much stuff keep coming out of here? Oh, whoa. What is that, dude? Oh, you know what this is? This is the top to a fire pit. Holy cow, where's the rest of the pit? Wah, 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 wah. Something on there. No, you guys, what is the world is going on here? I cannot get enough of this. Look at, we just caught a whole ax, dude. You guys, unbelievable. This is literally one of them spots that you cross your fingers and hope you find. We caught us the old wood chopper. Dude, this is wild. Oh my gosh. See, there's the oil again, dude. We got it. I got it. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, dude. I know you want to. Come on. Yes. Oh my gosh, I got it. No. I think it fell off. No, what's going on? Something's pulling. Look at the oil coming up. It's pulling. Oh, I got something. Oh, what's going on? No, you guys. Oh, hold on a second. First of all, look at, we caught us a crowbar, but look, it was attached to a string. Look at, somebody tied a string to this crowbar. And I think this was attached to whatever we were yanking on down there. And look at, you can see the oil spill in the water, you guys, see that? But that is really weird, man. You can tell there's some kind of string or a little rope tied. It's like hand tied to this crowbar. Cash money, dude. 
and we have this big old pipe attached to it. I don't know what the heck this thing would be used for, but look at all the holes in that sucker. Bunch of holes in that one all the way around this tube. Huh, I don't know what that would be for. A little bit of cash. Now, where was that thing, you guys? There's an oil spot that keeps showing up here, but I can't exactly figure out where it is. I thought we were just about to pull it up, but then it ended up being that crowbar and a string. So I don't know, man. Oh, here we go. Got something. Ooh, whoa, what's that? Oh, I know what this is for sure. You guys, this is an old dog cage door. Yeah, you can like pinch this here and that's how you open the cage. The old DMC. <sighs> right here. I can see the oil spot again, dude. I'm telling you. I can't get it up though. No, it just keeps slipping. Oh no, here it comes. Finally. I got it, dude. Is this it though? Is this what's leaking oil? Oh, here we go, hold on. No, that ain't it. You guys, look at we caused a whole folding chair, but that's definitely not what's leaking oil. I am like losing my mind over the amount of stuff coming out of here. Oh, what's that? Something white there. What the heck is that? The old tentacle piece. I don't even know what to think of that one. I've never seen nothing like that before. What is that? <laughs> Unreal, you guys. And this chair probably goes right along with them legs of that old, like a party table that I was talking about. Heck yeah, check that out. You go sit in this one, you're chilling for sure. Uh-oh, the legs are folding on me. Wow, man, I just, how much stuff do you think can keep coming out of here? Something there, ain't it? Felt like I clicked on something. No way, you have got to be kidding me, dude. You guys, we caught a third grill grate here and I'm pretty sure this one's even smaller than the other ones we found. It is, you guys, look it. We caught the big one, then we caught the medium one, then we caught the little tiny one. Unbelievable, dude, three grill grates and still no grill, what in the world? Here we go. We're dragging something, dude. Yep. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, oh, shut up. Hold on. Hold on. Get that stick out of there. You guys, look it. No way. Oh, and the line is still in the water. Hold on a second. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff going on here. First of all, you guys, we caught us another rake head. Again, no handle on there at all. Some seriously cool stuff coming out of here. And look, we got a little piece of rebar, nothing too fancy on that one. But look at you guys, a whole fishing reel stuck on here. And hold on, look it. The line is still like in the water. Too bad it doesn't reel or I'd fish it back in. But I wonder, is like the pole on the other end of this? I don't know. I think that's just gonna snap. I don't think we're gonna get it. Pull really nice and easy so we don't snap. Whatever's going on here, I'm like pulling the boat. I'm, look at, I am pulling us to it. <laughs> just pulling on this fishing line. What is on the end of this sucker? Come here. Oh no, there it goes. We snapped off, we ain't getting a pole no more. Coleman, I didn't even know they made fishing poles. I thought they just made like camping gear and stuff. I guess a fishing pole might fit under camping gear, huh? Got a big old bird's nest tied up in there. Get him, we got the big one. Oh, hold on a second. 
I caught this and I didn't even really look at it that good. Oh, shut up, yo. Look at you guys. This is some kind of like brake cable or something. And I thought it was off a bike. I just tossed it in the cart. But look, no kidding. This is like a gas pedal. Yep, I don't know if that's like a foot pedal or a, or a hand lever pedal. Yup, you guys, look it. It says throttle, start, slow. Oh, and then we found some oil leaking, you guys. I'm telling you, there's something in here. Here we go, what is this? Something nice. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, that's actually kind of heavy. Holy cow. What the, what on earth is that? Is that like a sign frame or something? Yeah, like a sign might go in there. Like a, like a house for sale sign, that might be what that is. Maybe that's not like a house for sale sign. No, cause look, you can see part of like, that's like wood on there. And it almost looks like you can see some of the writing still. This is like getting out of hand. I don't even have any room for any of this stuff anymore. I gotta figure out this oil spot. I can't figure it out. I've been throwing right where I think the oil was coming from about a hundred times now. And I just, I keep clicking stuff just like this, but every time it's like, it's something else. It's not something that would leak oil or something to have to do with that throttle. And I don't know, man. Oh, here we go. Oh, that might be it. That just might be it. Here we go. Whoa, did you see that gas bubble? Or maybe not a gas bubble, but some kind of air bubble. I just pulled something out of the mud. Had to have. Yeah. Look it. Dude, that's a big old pot for sure. But again, still not what was leaking oil. You guys, look at this thing. It's still got the handle on there and everything. I don't want to pull on it or it's going to snap. But we caught us now a whole cast iron pot. Unbelievable, you guys. So now we got us a little pan for the eggs and we got us a pot for the soup. You guys, this is way too cool of a spot. You guys, what a day, man. We are finding some crazy killer cool stuff. I think they must have opened some dams up river or something, you guys, because we are flowing all of a sudden. Look, they got trees and debris floating down. And it wasn't but 10 minutes ago, I, we were like at a dead still. We weren't even moving. And that's actually not good because on the way to get here, I was like about this close to hitting my head on the railroad. So if this water goes up any higher, I might not even be able to get back. <laughs> that's really not good, actually, now that I think about it. Oh my gosh, I stuck something really hard. Here we go, come on, buddy. Come up here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, whoa, what does that say? Five and a halfer or something? You guys, we cost the old saw. You gotta be kidding me, man. I just cannot believe it. There is so much stuff in here. It's like they literally tossed their entire garage in the river. I am not even kidding. The old Black & Decker, you guys. Bzz, bzz, bzz. What do you think? Should we plug her into our box here and see if she fires up? Heck no, you're crazy. Unbelievable, you guys, what a find. Unreal, we are, I mean, we're up just about out of space. We got no more room. You guys, I really wanna find out what that oil spill is, but we are running out of time. We literally have enough time for one more throw here. If we don't figure it out today, like I said, you guys, we are absolutely coming back next time with the claw to figure out what it is for sure. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe because we are definitely coming back if we don't find it. I got something, guys. I'm pulling something heavy. Oh, here we go. Whoa, what is that? Get off of there, holy cow. Ugh. 
What is that one, man? Whoa. What do you think that is? It's definitely like painted red. I don't really know what to think of that, you guys. Some kind of hub for something. I don't know what this could be, you guys. But it does kind of look reddish, almost like that part that we found that I said kind of looked like the red flyer wagon, but then it had some kind of gas cap on it or something. I don't know. We are definitely pulling something apart down there for sure. I got something heavy again. I must just be pulling that thing apart down there one thing at a time. No, no, no. Something on there or what? Oh, oh bag. Or maybe not a bag, just some more plastic. Blech. But what is that on there? Whoa. Oh, that says something. Yo, hold on a sec. This is some kind of can of something. Anything in there? I don't think so. A bunch of junk, it looks like. Oh, wait. Look at this. There's a, a plug of something in there. No kidding. But, you guys, let me dump this can out and wash this can off because check this out. It says something. Oh, it says sweetener contents, no sweetener something. But look at what is in there. It's a like a bucket of nails or a little can of nails so that definitely explains some of the story behind all the nails in there you guys it looks like they were just tossing whole cans of nails in the river we caught enough nails to fill this thing up like five times unbelievable Ooh, I just stuck something like really good there. Come here. Ooh, it's coming up. Real slow like. Not real fast like. Ooh, what is this? Yo, no. You gotta be kidding me, dude. You guys, we caught us another whole chair. Only this one's like the, a lawn chair. Look at it, it's got the fabric on there. And again, you guys, unless there's, oh yeah, I guess it is all ripped up. I was gonna say, if there's like nothing wrong with this, how does, why are they tossing all this in the river? Yeah, look at, somebody must have busted through the bottom. Unreal, you guys, we caught us another chair. Oh, no way, look at it. Holy tiny little Frankie. I don't think we've ever found one that tiny. Look at him, he's just a little baby, go on. Oh, you guys, look at this. I thought for the most part, I just had a bunch of scrap and it looks like a little plate under there. But look at this. That is like, it looks like the arm of something grabbing like a, a crystal ball, maybe. I don't even know what to think of that. It's like a bird's claw or something. Whoa, that's kind of wild looking, you guys. What do you think that is? It almost looks like it would have went on some kind of wooden handle or something. That is super kind of creepy looking. There is some seriously weird stuff in here. Oh, well, we're running over some stuff down there. A couple things. Ooh. That feels nice. Come here. Come on. Come to Papa. Oh, what the? Whoa. Oh, that's a bag of something. 
What is that, yo? I don't know what this is, but we got some kind of funky looking bag here, you guys. Who knows what's in there? But check this one out, you guys. We caught us a whole cake pan. Or that's not a cake pan. What do you call it? It's just, just like a baking pan. Look at it. Still got some burnt chicken on the bottom there. You guys, and again, like looking at this thing, what's wrong with this? Doesn't look like anything. It's at the bottom of the river. That's what's wrong with it. Unreal, you guys. All kinds of cooking ware, cooking utensils. We're going to catch the whole kitchen. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap our video up here for today. We got so much scrap in the back of this truck. You can almost tell my truck is like riding low. Another absolutely unbelievable day, you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. If you guys enjoyed this video today, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned and I will catch you on the next one.